Happy Thursday, 1-9. How about it? Can I get a radio check? Thank you, sir. Well, if you've been following One Road for any time, you'll know that I have recently been getting into CB radio. It just seems really fun to have free and open communications within reach of your vehicle. Yes, we all have cell phones and everything like that, but in an emergency situation, cell phones aren't really gonna work. They're gonna be jammed up. You're not gonna be able to make phone calls or receive phone calls, let alone send texts or anything like that. That's where CB comes in for most people. Then you have, you know, the truckers, the regular communication on long road trips, things like that, and also off-road. You may be cruising off-road, whether it's overlanding or what have you. You may be with a big group of people and you guys are all communicating via CB radio. Being that I'm building up this 95 Suburban to be an overlanding vehicle, a CB radio seems absolutely fitting. And I got one. And I filmed a few videos on CB radio. And you guys have seen those and they've gotten tons and tons of views. So CB radio is nowhere near dead. There is a heck of a lot of people out there who still use CB radio and who wanna get into it, just like me. One day I thought, hey, you know, I'm gonna see what's on Craigslist. I typed in CB radio and I came across this Cobra 29LX. Now this thing looked brand spanking new and he only wanted like 35 bucks for it. So I texted him and asked to come see it. I was there within 20 minutes. I looked at the unit and it was brand new the plastic still wasn't even ripped off the front screen. I asked him why he was selling it and he said he had it installed in his other truck and bought a new truck and just simply didn't want to install it. I offered him 20 bucks and he took it. Now this Cobra 29 is awesome. I really like it. It's a great radio. It's got a great big display on there that you can change the colors of and it's even got an internal SWR meter. Lots of features on this radio, but there's just one big problem with it. It's huge. It's freaking giant. There's just nowhere to mount the thing. So today, I'm gonna be ripping that out of my truck and installing a new one. This new one is a lot smaller. I wanted something really, really small tiny in comparison. I wanted something I could place within arm's reach. Something I could be driving on the highway, for example, and not have to reach over for and turn on. It's just right there and ready to go. This time I did a little more research into what was available that would fit the bill. I found a company called President Electronics and they make this radio called the President Andy USA. Now to be completely transparent, I contacted them and they agreed to send me out this radio in return for a review video. They are not paying me in any other way just sent me the CB. And if you guys are curious about this CB radio or any of the others, I'll put a link down in the description below this video. And here's my current setup with the Cobra 29LX. And you can see it is not a small radio. It definitely looks good, but it's just huge. Looking around my truck, you can see there's just nowhere else to mount this thing. I couldn't really mount it up here. It's just simply too big. So down here on the floor was the only option. Well, that presented a problem. I wasn't able to see the screen and it was sliding around everywhere. So I built this bracket so that it would be up off the floor and the screen would be up in my line of sight. So far it's been working out great, but it just takes up way too much room. That's where this guy comes in. Yes, this guy right here. Here you can see the center console in this 95 Suburban. And I think right down here between the center console and the seat would be absolutely perfect location for the CB radio. This location gives me easy access with one hand to be able to turn it on, see the screen, and and use all the buttons. And with the mic mounted right next to it, again, it'll give me easy access with one hand to be able to reach down, grab that mic, and start talking. Now let's take a look at these two side by side. Here we can see the President Andy CB radio is absolutely tiny in comparison. And with the Andy sitting on top of the Cobra 29, you can see again just how small the CB radio is. Here is the back of the Andy, and although this unit is very small and very short, it does have an external heat sink. So that is something to keep in mind when you're thinking about placement. Now, this is going to be a permanent mount. However, because this unit is so light, I don't necessarily need to screw in the bracket anywhere. I can simply use hook and loop, and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm using this alcohol swab to just clean off the top of the unit. And I'll just simply peel off the backing, place it something about right there. Just press her down. We now have one half of our mounting system done. The other half of our hook and loop is going to be right down here. Of course, one of the benefits of mounting it with hook and loop is I can take it off and readjust it as needed. So let's go ahead and clean off this area. 
Then we'll take this other portion of the hook and loop and place it right about there. That looks good to me. Now the radio can be simply mounted in whatever orientation we'd like. And that right there seems about perfect. I've moved the seat all the way back, so let's move it forward and see what it looks like. This is pretty much my seating position, and as you can tell, it is perfectly placed. I have extremely easy access to be able to turn it off and on right there within reach. I now have this really small President Andy USA CB radio completely installed. It's hardwired directly to the battery, and this thing couldn't fit more perfect. No screws, no drilling, just hook and loop. After installing the Cobra unit with the big bracket and everything, I really did see that it was just way too big and not a great idea for it to be there. I actually really enjoy having this open space there. And because the President Andy USA CB radio is so small, I chose to mount it right here on the side of my center console. In my opinion, this is a perfect location. It's unobtrusive, out of the way. The only person that can really see it is the driver of the vehicle. I even mounted the microphone to the side. So now everything is nice and compact and easy to access. I have temporarily set up this SWR meter so we can make sure we're within spec. The antenna that I'm using is the Wilson Little Will. So here we are on channel 20. I'm gonna grab the mic. I have the meter set to forward and the calibration knob all the way counterclockwise. We'll go ahead and key the mic and set our set point right there. And with the mic still keyed, we'll flip it down to reflected. And you can see our SWR is very low. Normally you'd wanna check your SWR on channel one and channel 40 also, but for the purposes of this video, we'll call that good. We'll go ahead and go down to channel 19 and ask for a radio check. Breaker 19, happy Thursday. Can I get a radio check please? It works. How do I sound on your end? Good. Thank you, where's about uh, you transmitting from? Uh, bye -bye again. Thank you, sir. All right, so I got a radio check on my first try. That's always fun. Guys, I have to say, when I was looking for a smaller CB unit package and came across the President Electronics Company, they had some pretty intriguing radios. They have radios that are even smaller than this one. For me, this President Andy version checks all the right boxes. It's small, lightweight, feature-packed, and doesn't break the bank. One of the features that I think is really cool with these President CB radios is their auto automatic squelch control, ASC, you can see printed right there. So basically you have your squelch knob, which I can turn up and manually adjust, but if I leave it all the way down, it activates automatic squelch control. You can also see it written there on the screen. And what that does is basically adjust the squelch for you. And so far in my limited use, it seems to work very well. How's it going channel 19? How's about a radio check for me? Just got a confirmation there, said loud and clear, and that's the whole purpose of a radio check. It's to know whether you're broadcasting loud and clear. That's also why we check our SWR to make sure our antenna is matched up to the radio. With too high of an SWR, you can actually heat up the components within a CB radio, causing them to fail. So you always wanna have an SWR meter and check your levels before you start using the radio. SWR meters are cheap. I got this one on Amazon and I'll link it down in the show notes below. I know CB had its heyday way back in the 70s and 80s and 90s even, but there's still a heck of a lot of people that use these things. As a matter of fact, the first two videos I put out regarding CB radio both got over half a million views. And that kind of told me something. It told me that there's a lot of people that are really interested in CB. And what do you know, I am too. I really want it to come back. I think it could, and I think it is already. If you have a CB radio installed in your car, let me know what type it is and where it's located down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, hit the thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. I'm Jimmy with One Road here on YouTube, and I am going to get another radio check. Breaker 19, can I get a radio check, please? Holy smokes, guys, just came down off that parking garage and I'm seeing this. Did someone hit a fire hydrant? What's going on? This is absolutely nuts. Someone had to have decked a fire hydrant.
Well, that was absolutely nuts. Just driving down the street and I see this huge 50 foot tall spout of water and a bunch of firefighters trying to turn the water off. It looks like to me someone hit the fire hydrant which broke it off and then just sent the water shooting extremely high. It took a long time for them to turn that water off. I saw the firefighters trying to do it along with the Department of Water and Power trying to do it. It looked to me like they had to chip some of the street away so they can get the cap off so they can get the tool in there to be able to turn that water off but eventually they got it. That was amazing, never seen that before. Was hoping I could drive through it and get a free car wash, but hey. Real quick, I just wanna give a huge thank you to President Electronics for providing this Andy USA CB radio for review. Thank you.